Today's job is sorting out this little tree planting here. It's supposed to be a shelter belt, but they've grown tall and spindly and there's not much growth on the bottom. Some of the willows are starting to blow over as well, so I want to coppice them. Um, really, it should be cut off at an angle like this. This one had blown over a while ago, um, so that came down. And then this one, it's a cherry, it was coppice. Nice little thing there. Yeah, and then this is that willow, so I've sort of pollarded it, I guess, so about four foot up. Um, it should come back, but it will stop it blowing over, and it's going to let a bit, a bit more light in down here. Hopefully we'll get some regeneration. I got a load of these stakes off that willow as well. They're living stakes, so if I push these into the river, they should grow again. Got some serious erosion here, or the river changes direction for the little stream. Um, yeah, it's undercutting these alders and stuff could just leave it, I mean erosion's natural, but then it's going to take out this fence and stuff. So I'm going to try and do something about it. I'm going to make a willow spiling. So I've put in a load of stakes, I've put those two trunks of willow down at the toe of the bank and then pegged them in with a couple of older pegs over there. Um, they should hold it in. And then I'm just going to weave all these branches in through the stakes and hopefully it'll stop the erosion for a while. There we go. Um, not the tidiest job in the world, but it should work. There's one use for that willow tree. I'll show you a tidier one, actually. So here's some spiling I did last winter. I'll go down and show you. There you go. It's um, yeah, it's done its job. It stopped the bank collapsing, and a lot of it's regrown. Uh, all the uprights and some of the horizontal pieces have sprouted. And yeah, it's doing well. This one's a lot tidier than the last one because this is sort of unshown. I did this the other day. Um, the bank had collapsed and all the turf was sort of flapping there. So I've used an older log and some older pins here and sort of slightly reprofiled it and put the turf back on top. So hopefully that will stop some erosion here for a while. Here's a riverside planting that was done a while back. Um, the problem is, as the bank erodes, it sort of undercuts these older trees and then they tend to fall in. So what I've been doing is, every year, just coppicing a couple of them on the edge. It makes them more less likely to tip in. That's it, and then planting a few bits of willow as well, further back every year. Here's an example of a riverside planting that's never been coppiced or anything. So you've got lots of tall, thin trees, which are great, but when they fall over, there's nothing underneath them to protect the river. Here's a little planting I did a few years back. Um, there's all goat willow in there. Not everything survived because of the rabbit, so I'm going to plant some more things into this one, especially along the bank there. I might try and underpin it over there with a big alder log. Here's another riverside planting I did a while back. This one's worked pretty well. It's a mixture of goat willow and crack willow. I think there's the odd oak and I put the odd alder in there. Um, but yeah, these have done well, so I'm going to coppice a few of these crack willow and maybe use them for beefing up the other one back there. There I've cut a few of these long bits out to stop the willows getting too tall in that planting and I use these as stakes in the other planting down there. I've put a load of willow cuttings in, all of those at the far end and this nearest one. Hopefully they'll all take. 